back to my channel. I have another indie collection to share with you guys today. And this is a very exciting one. This is a good one. So today I have to share with you the Moonshine Manny Is This a Kissing Book? collection. This is an eight bottle collection created by Phoebe Moon here on YouTube and she has used the Princess Bride as her inspiration for this really really cute very sparkly collection. So we're gonna talk about each of these polishes individually. I have bottle shots, I have live swatches today, and I'm really excited to get this party started. Now this collection was given to me for free for review by Phoebe and and I've actually had it since like the polish pickup, but obviously I have not had time to review it because I was so busy working on the polish pickup. But now I have a moment to sit and reflect and to share with you the beautiful polishes that Phoebe has created for the Princess Bride. So we're gonna start right off the bat with an amazingly gorgeous, beautiful sky blue polish that will literally take your breath away. This is Princess Buttercup. Phoebe says that it is supposed to be like the, the blue, sky blue dress that Princess Buttercup wears, and it totally is. It's got this beautiful sky blue jelly base, and then there's tons of iridescent glitters and flakies in here that kind of shift between green and blue and teal, making it super sparkly and really, really dainty and very feminine and just so incredibly cute. But the real question is, what's the formula like? And I will show you right now. The first coat of Princess Buttercup is pretty sheer, but that's to be expected because it is a jelly. However, you do get tons of glitter, which is awesome because we do want to build this baby up as much as we can to really give you some depth um, of the glitters inside the jelly base. So I ended up having to do about three coats of this polish, but this is gonna vary a lot on your application style. I don't think you would need more than three coats, but uh, people have different preferences, people have different styles, you might need to do a fourth, but I was happy with three. This polish does dry down a little bit, so the the glitters do become a little bit texturized. But with a thick glossy topper, it's gonna smooth everything out, giving you a nice smooth finish, which is awesome. I really like Princess Buttercup, you guys. Highly recommend this one. It is gorgeous. Next, we have a fun kind of sparkly nude. This one is called Hello, My Name is Inigo Montoya, which is a fantastic name. So Inigo Montoya is a sparkly, glamorous, sandy nude that totally works. Again, we're dealing with kind of a jelly, kind of crelly base, and then it's been pumped full of gold holographic glitters in here, and it just gives you like this nice variety of like little teeny tiny rainbows with that like shimmer that's running through here, but then you get like the big rainbows with the gold glitter, all set against this nice like sandy brown background. It's kind of nice. Like, if all nudes were like this, I would totally be on board with nudes. I'm not a fan of nude polishes, as we all know, but if they're kind of fancy and snazzy like this, it's like, well, of course. Can't say no to that. And as to be expected, the formula is pretty awesome. Well, Inigo Montoya is definitely a jelly, so you do want to build this one up. So do not be fearful if you see that this first coat is a little bit sheer and a little bit non-impressive. You need to build this baby up because we've got so much glitter in here. You really wanna work in thin layers to build up the glitter and to make jelly sandwiches with, with all the gorgeous rainbows in here. So it was no surprise to me that I needed three coats to get full opaque coverage. Every single coat though, gave you so much glitter to work with that you really didn't have to do lots of coats in order to get more glitter. You simply had to do more coats to build up the color. This is such a creative polish. I love the blending of the sandy brown with the gold holographic glitters. It just works so incredibly nicely. And of course, it looks even better with a glossy topper to smooth things out and to bring out that sparkle and shine. It's a good one. It's a very good one. Next, we have one of my favorites from this collection. Um, this is Anybody Want a Peanut. So Anybody Want a Peanut is based off of a nice peanut butter brown. In Phoebe's launch video, she said that she literally went to her cupboard, grabbed her peanut butter jar, and matched the color to her peanut butter, and it genuinely looks like peanut butter. So much so that when I open it, I almost expect to smell a peanut buttery fragrance. And when I don't, it's a little bit like Twilight Zone. Now I am really digging this, 
because like I mentioned in my Topic Tuesday video, which I'll link down below in case you missed it, over the fall I was obsessed with like unconventional colors. So I really loved like olive greens and I was super into like mustard yellows and I was like hardcore into like spicy browns, like peanut buttery browns, like caramely browns, like warm browns. I mean, right? This is just perfect. This is so perfect. And of course it's Moonshine Manny and it's a cream. So you know the formula is phenomenal. Anybody Want a Peanut was so close to being a one coater cream for me. Um, I think it would have been a one coater if I worked in a really, really thick coat, but I wanted to kind of just do an average application here. But I think if you push it a little bit, you may be able to get this completely opaque in one coat. However, it dries so quickly that two coats really wasn't that big of a deal. I loved how smoothly it applied and it still kind of like just was jarring to my brain that it did not smell like peanut butter because it was so creamy and so smooth and the color was spot on for peanut butter. I really do like this polish. It is such a joy to work with. And I think for some, this will be a home run polish. Next, we have one of my favorites from this collection. This is Twoo Wove. Now, I know it's not really true love, but that's how I say it in my mind. It's just, it's Twoo Wove. Um, and it really is true love. Like, this is true, true, true love. Like, it is true love. <laughs> I love this so much. It is a very, like, deep magenta. So it's not super, super bright, but it is kind of pink. But it is one of Phoebe's like ultra hollows where she just slams this thing full of holographic shimmer, making it just a rainbow in a bottle. And I love it. So we've got this magenta pink base, which I'm already like 110% on board. And then it's just pumped full of this holographic shimmer, making it absolutely phenomenal. And the formula is so good. The reason I am truly in love with True Love is because it is opaque in one coat. It's amazing. Like it is just so good. This is why I love Moonshine Manny and the holographic formulas that Phoebe comes up with because these formulas are absolutely fantastic. I have yet to have found a holographic formula that doesn't perform like true love. They are all wonderfully executed. They do dry a bit flat, but you want to put a glossy topper on it anyway because you want to enhance the hollow all around two thumbs way up on True Love and I recommend any holographic polish that you see coming out of Moonshine Manny because they are going to be amazing. Next we have the Fire Swamp. Now I'm not gonna lie, Fire Swamp kind of made me do one of these <laughs> because I don't know, it was, it, it, it took me a while to warm up to this one. We really had to sit down and have a conversation and suss each other out. But once I got to know the fire swamp, then I'm like, yeah, okay, I see what you're doing. I see where you're going and I kind of dig it. So this is a kind of a, a brick red jelly base. And then Phoebe has put in like t so many, like, I can't, like, I'm trying to comprehend and I'm trying to like, uh, like, I can't, I can't. It's like, I'm glitching. I cannot figure out what's in this polish. Yeah, there's like multi-chrome flakies that are very, very sharp and very dramatic. They have very, very dramatic shifts between like green and blue and red and gold. And then there are, there's like a multi-chrome like shimmer running through it as well. So you feel like there's also like purple uh, multi-chrome fragments in there too. So you see flashes of like purple and pink. I can't comprehend, like does not compute. Like I don't know what's happening in this bottle but I dig it. I really, really dig it. When I first saw it, my immediate thought was, oh, it looks like salsa. <laughs> Cause it does. It has like this beautiful like salsa red base. And then you see these pops of green and like pops of pink and like pops of purple. And to me, it, it just looks like salsa. And I kind of dig it. Like I really dig it. So um, I, I think this is a fun one. This is a really fun, very different kind of polish. And I think Phoebe did an excellent job with execution of this because it is like just the perfect right amount of like shimmer and like uh, multi-chrome flakies. Like one part of the polish isn't overwhelming and all of them just kind of blend together nicely to create a very unique polish. Fire Swamp is another one of these jelly glitter bombs that Phoebe is just 
hitting it out of the park with in this collection. So they are a little bit on the sheer side, but that's to be expected. So you do want to build this up in very thin layers to create an awesome like jelly sandwich effect with all the glitters in these polishes. I only did two coats with this polish, but I kind of wish I had done a third um, just to kind of even out the color of the jelly a little bit more and to get the edges just a little bit better on this Manny. But I still love this polish. It took me a while to warm up to it, but I really do enjoy it. Next, we have another fun polish from the is this a kissing book collection? This is inconceivable. This is a showstopper, guys. Like this is a showstopper. We start this whole thing off with a very, very deep, striking purple to like indigo blue multi-chrome base. So you see a very dramatic shift between purple and, and indigo, and there's like a slight magenta in there too. But then there are like tons of multi-chrome flakies in here that give you strong flashes of gold and green. I'm not sure how well the camera is going to be picking this up because unfortunately with these multi-chromes It's just something you have to see in person But just know that when I look at this the main thing that I see like the main color that flashes out at me the most is like a magenta It's like a magenta purple and that's the color. I see the most of course It depends on your lighting. It depends on the angle, but right now sitting in front of you today That's what I see the most is a beautiful very striking magenta purple with tons of these like multi-chrome flakies coming through it's really nice you guys it's really nice this formula was fantastic you guys it was completely opaque in two coats there were no issues of sparse glitter it was perfectly perfectly balanced my issue with this whole thing is that I cannot capture the beauty of it on camera it's impossible on camera, you definitely see lots of teal shimmer, and that is not what you see in person. When I tip my fingernails forward, do you see how it's really sharply magenta? That's what it looks like in person. I don't know what is up with my camera. I don't know what it is with my lighting, but as I tip my nails forward, that pink magenta kind of purple, that's what the polish looks like. The teal blue shimmer that you see here, it's not as striking as you see in these pictures and in the camera footage. This thing is slippery. It's slippery just like Vinzini and I love it, but I also hate it because I cannot give you a proper representation of what this polish looks like in person. Just trust me, very magenta, it's very raspberry, it's fantastic. It's, it's a beautiful polish, absolutely beautiful. Next, we have a glitter bomb that is amazing. This is such an amazing polish. This is As You Wish. It's mostly blue, but you've got all of these other glitters in here that make this a party that everybody wants to be invited to because there are like purple metallic flakies. There are square blue metallic glitters. There are some gold silver glitters. There are some multi-chrome flakies. There's like purple metallic glitters. It's like everything. It's everything. It's everything but the kitchen sink. And it's so cute. It's so incredibly cute. It builds up so nicely and it just looks phenomenal on the nails. As You Wish has fantastic glitter payoff. I was so impressed with how much glitter I was able to get on my nail with just one coat. But of course, with it being a jelly base, you do wanna build this up as much as you can to get full glitter coverage. I went up to about three coats on this one to get full opaque coverage. But again, you're gonna need to play with it a little bit, find out your application style and to figure out what you like the best. But I was happy with three. It does dry down a little bit textured because of the volume and the size of glitters in this polish. So you'll want a thick, glossy top coat to smooth things out. Out. You'll also want to use a peel off base coat because we've got lots of shiny glittery fragments in here And so removal can be a little bit tricky And the last one that I have from the is this a kissing book collection is a battle of wits And this is another one of my favorites from this collection. It is so Beautiful, it's so beautiful. It's another one of these glitter bombs that is just proves that Phoebe is a wizard when it comes to glitter bombs because she can gather so many different types of glitter that look amazing together. She knows glitter very well. The base of this is silver, so you definitely get very strong silver vibes in here, but there are so many other different glitters packed in here that it's almost just like a broken up rainbow in general. It, it, it's amazing, it's amazing. Like you could literally get lost looking at this polish because there's just so many different things that you didn't notice before and then you put it down and then you pick it back up and you're like, oh wait, there's like a holographic shift in here. Like there's everything, it's amazing. And application 
is so impressive. Once again, I was blown out of the water by the sheer volume of glitter inside of Battle of Wits. One application gives you a pretty decent amount of glitter on your nail. However, you do want to build this up to get full glitter coverage. I was able to do so in about three coats and I was loving it. It is such a gorgeous, very dense glitter polish with the possibility that you might be able to thin it down in one coat as a topper, but I don't know, we could get experimental with this one. I do highly recommend using a glossy topper to enhance the shine and to even out the glitters. Also, you'll wanna use a peel off base coat. Uh, I certainly did and it made removal so much easier with this polish. So now we're to the hard part of this video where I have to pick my top three, which is really hard because this is a gorgeous collection. I think Phoebe did a fantastic job of coming up with some really fun, very unique polishes that are up there in quality, that are up there in color, that are up there in creativity, and I love it. So I'm gonna try my hardest to only pick three but it's it's not going to be easy. You know what, we're just gonna do four. I can't do it, I can't do it, I can't do it. You, you can't expect a person to do this. I couldn't, I couldn't narrow it down between these four to pick three, so we're just going with it. So the first one is obviously True Love. Like, I love this one. It's so amazing, so simple, yet just so stunning, and the execution of it was fantastic. Such a great formula, opaque in one coat, like you cannot, complain against that. So highly recommend this one. Next is um, A Battle of Wits. I mean, we saw it. It's amazing. It's sparkly. It's fantastic. Gorgeous. Next is As You Wish. I just love these kind of glitter bombs from Phoebe. I love it. I, leave, I need it. And uh, you need it too, because it's gorgeous. And then the last one is Princess Buttercup. I couldn't, I couldn't walk away from this. It's it's just so pretty. It's so pretty and it reminds me a lot of Phoebe's um, anniversary polish. And it was basically this same idea except it was a light purple. And that's why I think I like this one so much is because I loved her anniversary polish. It's so good, it's so good. So those are my picks from the Is This a Kissing Book collection. This collection is still available on her website right now so I will link it down below if you wanna check it out. I'm always excited to see what Phoebe's gonna come out with next because she always surprises me with some very creative polishes that I absolutely adore. So what did you guys think? What are your thoughts about the Is This a Kissing Book collection? Do you have favorites? Do you have ones that you want to check out? As usual, I'm dying to know what you guys think, so let me know in the comment section down below. But that is my video for today, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you are new, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!